it's Chili Sid here and you're watching Chili in the Name of. Chili in the Name of. Welcome to another episode of Chili in the Name of. In this episode, I will be road testing three sauces by Chili Sid, including Indian Summer, The Sorcerer, and The Stinger. You may know Chili Sid as the world champion chili eating machine. Uh, she's been in, in many uh, competitions and, and won quite a few, and she also has her own channel with over 11,000 subscribers at Chili Sid, so make sure you check that out. But uh, without any further ado, let's get on it. The first sauce I'm going to try for you today is Indian Summer, an Indian-inspired Scotch Bonnet hot sauce. So that's that's it right there. Um, you can see it says Chili Sid right there. It's a very simple uh, label. It's got a bit of sort of graffiti style sort of uh, going on with the flame at the top there. Um, the sauce itself is uh, is quite thick. Um, I can't really see it moving around at the bottom much at all. Um, and, and that sort of says to me that it that it is it is uh, sort of a little bit maybe a little bit sweeter. Uh, than some sources. There's your label up close, Indian Summer. Again, it said an Indian inspired Scotch bonnet hot sauce. In terms of ingredients, it has red wine vinegar, chili, Scotch bonnet chili, sugar, tomato puree, onion, corn flour, ginger, mustard powder, salt, ground cumin, turmeric, and lime juice. So if it's an Indian inspired thing, I'm, I'm imagining it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Uh, it's got, it says it's got cumin and turmeric in there, which is quite cool, and a bit of mustard and, and ginger. Um, so let's try it out. Yeah, so it's not moving around in there at all, pretty much. So I'll, I'll give it a bit of a shake. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it's a bit of a shake. You can see that it is it is starting to shift around a little bit in there. Um, it's got a nice glow to it. That's probably coming from the turmeric. It's got that nice, beautiful sort of golden uh, edge to it there. Yeah, it's actually quite tomato-y. Uh, and um, the spices have worked right forward there as well. You can smell the lime juice. You can smell the ginger. You can smell the mustard powder, the turmeric. The cumin's there as well. Um, and you can smell the, the chilies in there. It's a bit, it smells a bit sweet too, which is kind of nice. Let's pour it. It's quite thick. Oh, there you go. You can see the color of it there. It's quite, it's got a bit of orange to it. It's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, it's really, it's quite sweet. Um, it's got a bit of vinegar in there as well. The sweetness and the vinegar and the sourness sort of rounds each other off really lovely. Um, the chili's there, but it's not really very strong. Um, so I'm imagining it that the Scotch bonnet's a, it's only 1% Scotch bonnet, which is why it's probably not very hot at all. Um, it's it's really it's a lovely sort of chutney sort of flavour. As you go amazingly with it with your with your standard Indian fare. So imagining uh, like having a vindaloo, it's papadum, some some riser, and some and you know that sort of thing. Uh, put this on the side just to give it that little bit of sweetness a bit of a bit of heat too in terms of heat I'd probably give this a 2 out of 10 uh, In terms of flavor, I think it's fantastic a really good chutney really good warm chutney So yeah, if you if you like this that sort of thing go straight for this one The second sauce I'm going to try for you today is called the sorcerer a tangy blueberry hot sauce And that's it right there and you can see it's very dark. It's very dark purpley uh, color there the sorcerer Again, same label, just different writing on it. Um, it's it's a little bit looser than the one previous. You can almost see it moving around in there. Yeah, there you go. You can sort of see, sort of see the blue edge to that. It's really quite striking. In terms of ingredients, it has blueberries, red wine vinegar, brown sugar, tamarind, corn flour, chili, cumin, and coriander. Yeah, I look, I really like a good fruit sauce, and sometimes I like them to be, uh, I don't want them to be too sweet, because I'm a really huge fan of sweet chili sauces, um, but this one it looks like it might be uh, quite interesting to uh, blueberries, vinegar, and then the sugar comes in third, and it's got tamarind too, so let's see if that brings up some of that sourness. Mm. 
Wow, look at that colour. That's amazing. Look at that. When you when you when it let it slosh out of the bottle, hit the neck. That's a per beautiful purple blue colour or purple colour. It's it's really quite striking, isn't it? Um, the consistency is a little bit thinner than the previous one, but it looks quite syrupy too. So I'm imagining that's the uh, sugar in there. And it smells like blueberries, which is great. I'm already thinking pancakes. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, look, for a sweet chili sauce, it's a dessert sauce. This is the most desserty dessert sauce I've ever had. That blueness, that flavor, that, that blueberry, uh, and, and then it's hammer and comes in a sourness. It, it's, this is really striking um, in many more, in more ways than just the color. Um, yeah, this is really, look, I, I, I was not wrong. Blueberry pancakes, bit of butter, maybe a bit of cream on top. Pour this all over it. Vanilla ice cream. Is this would be fantastic as a dessert sauce. In terms of heat, I'll probably give this a four out of ten. In terms of flavour, it's a dessert. It's it's just it sells itself one hundred percent. The third sauce I'm gonna try for you today is called the Stinger, a scorpion infused beetroot hot sauce. Beetroot hot sauce, that's interesting. That's the stinger right there. Can't really see much of the beetroot color in the uh, in the sauce itself up here. Um, again, the same label, just with different different writing. Uh, in terms of consistency, again, this is quite thick, much like the very first one. Uh, it's not moving around in there much at all. But if I just hold it there for one second, you can see it shifted there, and yeah, you can see a bit of color there on the edge too. Not quite as bright as the as the last two. In terms of ingredients, it has distilled vinegar, tomato puree, beetroot orange juice, sugar, tomatoes, red chili, water, garlic, basil, salt, chipotle, black pepper, nutmeg, and smoked paprika. That's an interesting mix. And I'm assuming that the, uh, the chili that is the 2% in here is going to be scorpion um, because it doesn't mention scorpion anywhere else in the list. Um, this is a stinger. Let's try it. I'll give it a bit of a shake because it is a bit tight, a bit, bit sort of uh, not moving much there in the bottle. So it does shift around, uh, but it takes a minute. Um, it's sort of a brownish coloration. I can just sort of see the, the edges of, uh, of the coloration of beetroot. So it's not really, really forward with that beetroot. It is down on the uh, ingredients list uh, a little bit after vinegar and tomato puree. Let's try it. Yeah, it smells of beetroot. Got that earthiness, beetroot. Ooh, it almost smells. Yeah, tomato puree, beetroot. Yeah, look, um, interesting. And the garlic and stuff is is coming forward on the nose, and there's orange juice there too. This is really complex. Let's eat it. Go. Mm. It's not until you taste it that you actually get the beetroot. The beetroot is definitely there. It's um, and then you, you get this whack of a heat at the back of the throat. That's it. That's the uh, the two percent. The uh, the chilies there. Um, look, it's got basil in it. It's got the chipotle. It's got the black pepper. It's almost lending itself to be like an Italian hot sauce. Uh, tomatoes and basil, really good together. Beetroot's rounded off. The orange juice gives it sort of that sweetness. The heat continues to intensify in this one, which is quite nice. But it's got black pepper, garlic. Um, yeah, look, yeah, I, I'll, I'll stand by that. I think it's 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 a it's an Italian style. You could have it as a pizza base, you know. Um, it's a fair bit hotter than the other two in terms of heat. I'd probably give this a six out of ten uh, in terms of flavor. Look, this is anything Italian, which is which is great because it's hard to find it. Uh, a sauce to go with Italian food, I think, um, because Italian food has its own sort of thing going on. You add a sauce to it, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with that. This would be right along down that alley alleyway, pizza base. Let's do that. So there you have it, folks. Three sauces by world champion chili eating uh, guru Chili Sid. Um, if I had to choose a favourite out of the three of them, it would actually be the blueberry. 
because it is the first time I've had a, a blueberry sauce that really lends itself towards dessert and doesn't try to sort of it, it doesn't sort of go into the world of savory. Um, I wouldn't you know say that you have to use this as a, as a dessert sauce. I can imagine you could use it in lieu of um, say apple sauce with some pork chops or something like that. Really interesting, beautiful color, really sort of natural feeling uh, in instead of ingredients there. Indian summer, like I said, like it's the, in lieu of a, a, an Indian chutney. And the stinger would be a great pizza base uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, and it probably, with food, it would be a lot less heat than a 6 out of 10. Uh, so thanks for joining me on this episode. Thanks for Chili Sid for your kind intro. Um, but until next time, see you later. Chili in the name of...